Okay, everybody, Grandalorian here. Today we're going to answer that age-old question. Is Timu a great deal or just cheap junk shipped over from China? <laughs> so I keep getting these Timu uh, ads pop up on my social media and that, and I'm like, okay, you know, let me just download the app and see what it's all about. So I downloaded it, and of course they're like, oh, get this for, you know, these low prices or whatever, and I'm like, these things look really good in the pictures, and they look, you know, really cheap uh, when you look at the prices on them. So I ordered three things. Um, my total, I'm just going to look here at my uh, my uh, shipping here. What was my total? Oh, thirteen dollars and seventeen cents. So I spent thirteen dollars and seventeen cents on a map of Middle Earth, a pair of sunglasses, and a pair of like battery rechargeable heated gloves. So let's just have a look and see. Now it did take. Uh, it comes in a bag. This order did at least. Anyway, there's the poster. Um, took about ten days to get here. So let's just see what what we got here. Let's see if it's any good. Let's start with. Oh, it's a formidable bag. Let's just cut this open here. Get this thing out. Lord of the Rings poster. All right, so it comes in this tube. I can at least say that about it. And um, it's taped shut pretty well. Tube feels like it's some kind of plastic covered cardboard. I'm gonna take a, uh, a blade real quick and just cut this tape off. Hang on one second. One second. Hopefully I don't cut my finger off. That would be really bad. Okay. There we go. There we go. Got it open. All right. I used a razor blade. All right. Let's see if we can't get this poster out. There we go. Put this tube off to the side. And it's a map of Middle Earth. It says it's on canvas, and you know what? That's not that bad looking. Now, I wonder how long this will hold up under sunlight and all that, but I think I might actually, um, I don't know, I might actually laminate this and hang this on my wall. It's kind of cool. Um, some of the writing is hard to read, and I'm wearing my reading glasses, because I wear readers now. Um, I can make out most of that. Some of those uh, words, though, are a little hard to read, but overall, from a distance, you know, that's a cool little map. All right, so that's probably worth the couple of bucks that I paid for it. So let's fold that up, set that aside. Um, let's see what the next thing is. What do we got here? A cardboard box that looks fairly cheap and Oh, these are the sunglasses, the sunglasses up there. So let's just uh, take our little razor blade, cut this open. All right. Let's see how cool these are. These do not look anything as cool as the picture. Um, I'll have the picture. I took a picture of the... Um, advertisement. That, that is, uh, eh. it says it's polarized. I don't know. Does not look nearly as cool as um, the picture on my phone. You know, and I did get the all black one, so there's that. I guess, you know, they've got it on this angle from the phone picture that makes it look a little less uh, as long as it is. So, eh, eh, I probably won't be wearing these. But these cost $3.48. Just you get what you pay for. All right, last but certainly not least, this was something I was very interested in. So these gloves are just coming in a little Ziploc bag. Uh, let's see here, open this up. And the quality of the gloves, they feel pretty thin. They've got kind of a rubberized texture uh, palm, and I think you can operate your phone with your thumb and first finger. They have that pad there, and 
You can unzip this. Maybe you can unzip this. There we go. So you can put that on. Okay. Now, um, these are supposed to be heated gloves. So I don't see where you heat them. <laughs> Oh no, my mistake. Um, I thought I was getting heated gloves. These are just windproof, waterproof, insulated winter gloves. Um, and these were $3.32. So, you know, are they, I mean, they don't feel that bad. And they do, I can't operate my phone with them. Um, oh, I honestly thought I was getting the heated ones. Because they were pretty cheap. No, windproof. No, my order does say windproof, waterproof, insulated. So this is a large, and um, it would be nice if the gloves came down your wrist a little bit more. From the fit standpoint, they're pretty. That's at my size because the uh, the edge, the uh, inside corner of the stitching is right there where my my finger ends and goes into my hand. So that's about the right size, but. They're very short on the hand, so wherever they make these, uh, they probably don't get a lot of snow and a lot of cold weather because that's going to expose your wrist while you're out there doing stuff. So, yeah, eh. If I had to rate the purchases, I'd say the glasses are the worst one, the gloves are in the middle, and the map of Middle Earth is probably in the middle because the map of Middle Earth, I'm actually a little shocked. I thought this was going to come in and be really pale and like really lightly inked onto the uh, canvas type material they have this on. And um, I'm actually surprised with how, I don't, and I don't know how well this is going to come out on this camera, but I'm kind of surprised a little bit um, at how deep the color is in areas and has that weather textured look and how the artwork uh, reproduction isn't too bad. Again, like some of the things are hard to read. Um, uh, you can see Dunlin, you can see uh, Mirkwood, and uh, we're gone. Mordor's here, so Gondor, uh, Rohan, Gondor. Uh, you can see all those things. There's Mount Doom and and uh, Barador. See, I, I know that's Barador. I'd have a hard time reading that if I hadn't seen the movies and read the books multiple times. So, um, Timu. It's cheap. You're probably getting what you pay for. Um, if you see something cool on there and you want me to check it out, let me know. Leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you like this kind of video, I'll get some more stuff from Timu and see if it's any good. They have a lot of other things. Maybe I will get next time the heated gloves. Uh, there's a knife sharpener for like a dollar forty-seven. That's like a three-stage one. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get that and I'll test that out on my my kitchen knives. Anyway, have a good rest of your day. Stay safe.